Hello everyone, this is Team Zara Cycle Crusaders and our problem statement title is to develop an innovative solution for efficient management of waste, waste to energy, waste free cycling. So, we have developed a community based solution which addresses four major points. The first point is the community separation of waste. In the local community, the waste is separated. Next, the inorganic waste is converted into energy. Plastic waste is converted into energy through a gasification process and the remaining inorganic waste is recycled. The organic waste is converted into pellets by a process called torrefaction and those pellets are sent to a thermal plant for further process and it produces electricity. Last but not least, we have the landfill gas which is converted into energy through a microbial fuel cell and also it is converted into formic acid and methanol through a catalytic reactor. Now, we have also developed a software which focuses on the tracking and management of waste. It has many icons which symbolizes features like tracking of waste which comes into the plant, the amount of waste which has been recycled and stuff like this. So now, we also have a point system where the vendors are given points for every successful energy conversion of 10 kg which in turn gives them groceries or medical stuff. So now, let's look into the working of the hardware. Our project title emphasizes on the process of torrefaction of bio waste. So first, the organic waste goes to the organic waste dryer where the waste is dried and it is taken to a fluidized bed moisture remover where the moisture content of the organic waste is completely removed and then that moisture removed waste is converted into pellets using a pellet machine. Those pellets are taken to a torrefaction unit where through continuous torrefaction it is dried and it is converted into pellets again to increase the energy density. These pellets are taken to a thermal plant where in the thermal plant the pellets are converted into energy. There is a surveillance camera placed in the thermal plant which surveys the entire plant and gives you real time images and video footage. These pellets are taken to a combustion chamber where they are burnt instead of a combustion fuel and the water gives steam which in turn runs the steam turbine and the energy is stored in the transformer. And in the transformer, the current is stepped down and given to the locality that is the transmission lines. Through the transmission towers and the transmission wires, the current is transported to the entire locality. Here, the working condition of all the power stations is monitored. If anything malfunctions, the LED indicator will indicate us. The waste from the landfill is transported through a conveyor to the waste filter where organic and inorganic is separated. The landfill gas is collected through a local collection well sent to a main collection well in the main collection well, the pressures are monitored. From the main collection well, the gas is treated to remove all harmful contaminants. Only methane and carbon dioxide is transported to the microbial fuel cell where the microbes eat methane and give out electrons which in turn produces electricity. The remaining carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide is sent to a catalytic reactor where the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide is converted into formic acid and methanol which can be stored or used for any other purpose. The waste from the locality is collected through already separated organic and inorganic dustbins placed in the locality. The small trash vehicles collect them and transport it to the facility. This is the main arch of our plant, Waste and Coal Limited. We have designed a truck with two compartments which can carry organic and inorganic waste separately. The weight pitch at the entrance is used to calculate the weight of the waste by eliminating the weight of the truck. The plastic that is inorganic waste is carried through a conveyor 
and the organic waste is taken to the torrefaction plant. The inorganic waste is taken to the inorganic waste recycle plant where e-waste, metal, glass and plastic is treated in separate ways to give new metals or recycle them. We have another process of gasification where the plastic can be converted into energy. Now let's look into the software part of our project. Our software solution employs AR-based analytics for waste collection and route optimization by integrating real-time data with historical waste patterns. We have developed a machine learning system that automatically optimizes the waste collection routes based on multiple variables like traffic, bin fills, and vehicle availability. This leads to optimized fuel consumption. We have also employed Venter Point system in which we have created a point system which will have a bar which will load every successful energy conversion from their waste. This point system will give you one point with every successful one kilowatt energy production. This point can also be used for humankind in which we will create an ecosystem by collaborating with Apollo Hospitals, Sun Pharma, etc. for providing medicines at discount and also free monthly medical checkup and groceries for the vendors. The amount of energy a home has produced is taken by attaching weight machine which will provide us data at every minute of this input waste will be fed as input to our statistical team which will estimate the amount of energy. We utilize advanced radar and infrared sensors for monitoring bin fill levels. These sensors provide more accurate readings for than traditional ultrasonic sensors and the data is transferred via IoT network using modern technologies like LP1 and 5G ensuring fast and secure data transmission. That was all about the software part. Thank you.